I'm TJ Chernick and welcome to this episode of The Gay Report. First, in local news, comedian, actor, talk show host Rosie O'Donnell has decided to relocate The Rosie Show, her Oprah Winfrey's network program, to her hometown of New York. The show, which has been struggling with ratings, will continue on its revised format of one-on-one -on -one interviews. The O'Donnell's 12-room mansion in the Lakeview neighborhood of Chicago was put back on the market for $2.5 million and reportedly sold the next day. While fans of the show are disappointed about the move, the relocation should make it easier for O'Donnell to secure more A-list guests and build on the momentum of the show. The Gerber Hart Library, which announced its relocation at the beginning of the year, has released its highly anticipated new location. The library will move from its Edgewater location to Clark Point Plaza at 6500 North Clark Street. Since its opening in 1981, Gerber Hart Library and Archives has grown into the Midwest's largest LGBT circulating library and archive. The new Gerber Hart will fill the second floor of the building and will be divided into a public area for the library, reading rooms, and book sales, and a private area with two rooms to protect and preserve the library's archives and special collections. The library plans to move at the end of April and hold a grand opening in the near future. The Illinois primary election is next Tuesday, which means the state representative seats are up for grabs, including the 14th district seat of the Illinois General Assembly, which includes the neighborhoods of Edgewater, Andersonville, Rogers Park, and a part of Evanston. This Friday, I'll be moderating a debate between incumbent representative Kelly Cassidy and the seatless contender Paula Basta. With primary elections being often underattended, unlike November elections, many of these seats are often left to a minority of voters. I decided to hit the streets of these neighborhoods and see who would be voting and why. Don't forget to tune in to tomorrow's debate to hear more on what the 14th District candidates plan for the region and the state, beyond LGBT issues and into what affects all citizens of Illinois. In international news, the International Gay and Lesbian Human Rights Commission has received reports of a wave of targeted killings of individuals who are perceived to be gay or lesbian in Iraq. In early February 2012, an unidentified group posted death threats against, quote, adulterous individuals in the predominantly Shiite neighborhoods of Baghdad and Basra. The threats gave the names and ages of the individuals who were given four days to, quote, stop their behavior or else face the wrath of God. The result is a new surge of anti-gay violence causing 40 people to have been kidnapped, brutally tortured, and murdered. The Iraqi authorities have neither responded to the targeted violence nor have they publicly denounced it. 
In entertainment news, Bravo premiered its newest addition to its reality TV lineup. The Shahs of Sunset follows the high-living members of the Iranian-American community in Los Angeles and Beverly Hills, and fixates on the materialism and personality clashes of the group. One of this season's cast members is Reza Faharan, a 38-year-old real estate agent who is also gay. Same-sex relationships are punishable by death in at least five countries, including Iran. While the show's producer Ryan Seacrest say that the series is intended to amuse, not educate, Reza hopes the show will be a platform to talk about who lives his life as a supported gay Iranian man. That's all for this episode of The Gay Report. Be sure to tune into our debate between Paula Basta and Representative Kelly Cassidy tomorrow, Friday, March 16th. And we want to hear from you. If you have any tips on stories important to you, email me at tj at gaychicagotv.com and let us know. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook. Until next time, stay proud, Chicago.